506 points in the tournament. They hammer Utah State 106-67. Oilermakers are headed for Detroit and the Sweet 16 to take on Gonzaga. Coming up, we're going to preview the next game on the schedule, Duke and James Madison from Brooklyn. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Running your own business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. And the this stream on the Westwood One NCAA Radio. This stream on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network is sponsored by Wendy's, official hamburger of March Madness. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Terms apply. Yeah. would indicate, and a guy like John Filipowski had a better game, yes. I think, than people realize. Yes. I'm sure that ties into your keys to the game today. It, it absolutely does. Look, the first thing for Duke, you, you've got to be strong with the basketball. When you scout this JMU team, they are hands on the ball. They're getting two hands on the ball trying to rip it away. So you've got to be strong with the basketball. The other thing is, you have to trust Kyle Filipowski to, write, to make the right decision. And if that means be the decoy, create the advantage by playing to Filipowski, which truly gives you a double almost every time down the floor, then you've got to take it. And you've got to support him in being the decoy. It's something that wears on you over time. But he did a great job in their, in their round of 64 game. You've got to stay committed to that. Because on the other end, in JMU, if there's a key for them, it's to swing first and keep swinging. That is exactly who they are. Put up your dukes. I mean, put their dukes up and keep flying. This ain't a Floyd Mayweather type of fighter either. Yeah. JMU dukes, they just let it fly. They swing away. They play confident. They keep it rolling. I think they're one of the more impressive, aggressive teams in the field. And if they can be the aggressor for 40 minutes, they could beat Dukes. I might use that one again, by the way. Yeah, you will. You yeah. will. I think we'll get into a little fight here. Disappointed if you don't. Your Dukes. Duke against the Dukes as we take the starting lineup sponsored by Cintas. Work days are better when you partner with Cintas. Keep your team protected, prepared, and looking great. Visit Cintas.com and get ready for the work day. For the Duke Blue Devils, we're talking about Kyle Filipowski. He is the man in the middle at seven foot. 25 career double doubles to attempted just one shot in the game on Friday night, but he's a Wooden Award finalist and a first team All ACC player. Mark Mitchell was five for six from the floor on Friday night, and they went against Vermont. He had five dunks, by the way, yeah. in the game. Mark Mitchell, Tyrese Proctor, Jeremy Roach, and Jared McCain, the three headed guard combination there. For the Duke Blue Devils, it still comes down to those guys. And Jeremy Roach, the senior, the two-time captain, is the guy that steers the ship. Yeah, he's going to steer the ship, but he's really got to keep Proctor and McCain strong. Both strong in mind, but also strong with the basketball. That's going to be what's most important over the first five minutes. On the JMU side, the number 12 seed in the South, Xavier Brown, a sophomore at a Williamsburg, Virginia. Start to the point guard spot. Noah Friedel brings toughness and shooting. Mm -hmm. Terrence Edwards is the third guard. He was the Sun Belt Player of the Year. The forwards, T.J. Bickerstaff. You know that name? His uncle, J.B., the head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers. His grandfather, Bernie, a longtime NBA head coach. And another guy with a famous basketball name, although not related, Julian Wooden is the other <laughs> starter for JMU. This JMU team, they are not going to be afraid or intimidated in any way by the Duke Blue Devils, nor the aura that they bring. This is the team, again, started the season, won 32 games this year, started the season beating Michigan State. So they they started on a high, and they've continued to ride that out through the course of the year. Well, it's time for the opening tip-off, sponsored by Progressive. See why over 28 million drivers trust Progressive to stay protected on the road. See for yourself at Progressive.com. The officials, Michael Reed, Courtney Green, Tony Henderson. We are set to go here. Courtside opposite the scorer's table. That's our vantage point. The Duke bench to our right. The JM New bench to our left. John Shire and his staff wearing Duke blue pullovers with black pants. The JM New guys have white pullovers with gray pants. Ball in the air. Duke wins the tip. We're underway in the second round of the NCAA tournament. 
as Tyrese Proctor hands it off for Jeremy Roach. He handles between the circles. Duke in white with the blue letters and numbers and a thick blue stripe down the sides. They go down to the seven foot of Filipowski. In the post against the much smaller T.J. Bickerstaff. Out to McCain and he knocks down a three. There's the inside out basketball Duke wants and they take a three nothing lead. Uh, the smartest thing Duke did was they played inside out with McCain and Filipowski knowing if you help off McCain he's going to drill it. JMU in purple going left to right, setting up in the half court in front of the Duke bench. Friedel out on the left side now for Edwards. Stands behind the arc. The 6'6 Edwards draws two defenders, brings him out near the midcourt line, feeds to the foul line. Bickerstaff rolling in the paint. Leaner is good, and JMU's on the board. 3 2 Duke. Yeah, Duke, good job extending the defense out, but you can't extend it so far that one little slip pass leads to an easy layup. Kyle Filipowski couldn't get back into the play. Proctor out top for Duke, comes left, hands it off for Roach. Roach out high on the left side, played tightly by Brown. Dribble handoff up top for McCain, coming right, goes to the baseline, slips under the basket, stands back inside the paint, ball knocked loose, and a foul is called here against JMU. And, John, we talked about the physicality that yeah. JMU came out with against Wisconsin. They got a, away with a lot early, and right now a... A tight call, and that's going to be a big part of this game. Yes, it is. And, and really, there's a, there's different kinds of physicality. Wisconsin's used to Big Ten physicality, which is body contact. The way JMU plays, it's very handsy. Hands on the ball, digging down at the basketball. Two hands trying to take it away. Non-shooting foul. They get it into Roach. Pulls up. Right wing 15. Footer is good. And Duke with a 5-2 lead. 18-4 Eight, to go here in the first half. Really good start for Duke, seeing the basketball go down, but also being able to move it somewhat freely against this JMU defense. Brown handling top of the key. Kick it on the wing. Wooden has it. He's going to circle into the paint. Kick it out now for Bickerstaff. Drives right to the baseline. Bunch of Filipowski. Trying to feed a cutter and try now couldn't handle it. Duke comes up with a steal. Filipowski in transition. Finds Roach. Backs it out McCain. But ball fake. Moves it right. Proctor's got it. Swings it back to McCain on the left. Looking over the JM. New defense, Lebowski battling down low with Edwards, and a foul is going to be called against Terrence Edwards of JMU, and that's the second yep. foul already on the Sun Belt Player of the Year, which is 18-12 to go here in the first half. He's going to come out of the game, and Raekwon Horton will check in. Big foul there against Terrence Edwards. Yeah, and he's got to be careful, too. Walking off had some words for Courtney Green, the official, but the reality is what they got away against with, with against Wisconsin, they're not getting away with tonight. McCain jump stop in the lane, trying to bank her no good. Friedel with a one-handed rebound for the Dukes. In the purple, they go left to right. Into the front court, it's Xavier Brown. So a big second foul against Edwards. JMU trying to work inside, and we get a whistle and a foul here. It's going to go against McCain of Duke. So a lot of whistles yeah. early. Officiating like the weather, John. you got to adjust. But, yes, that's a good thing. Look, call it early so you establish the way you're going to call the game. It's up to the players to adjust and be able to play the game. Now, for Edwards, two fouls this early. That's a killer. Edwards averages over 17 points a game. Was the leading scorer in the Sun Belt Conference this season. Now on the bench. Brown going down the left side of the paint. Kick it out of the right wing to Horton. Edwards replacement out to Wooden. Left side three. Off the side of the rim for the left hand. A rebound though by Bickerstaff. Hands off inside, but he's stolen away by Duke's Mark Mitchell. And Duke now with the front court. Mitchell across the midcourt line. Picked up the dribble. Being pressured, now hands it off to Roach. He slips through, down the lane, going to the rim, missed the finger roll. Filipowski missed the follow. Filipowski's got it again, and he dumps it with two hands. And Duke with a 7-2 lead, 7-20 to go in the first. Now, I gotta say, the initial toughness that Duke is showing in this game, they are well prepared for the matchup. JMU, Brown gives it up, gets it back. Brown working up top against Roach. Comes on a high screen. Snakes back into the paint. And the ball knocked loose again. A scramble. Brown's got it. Nine to shoot for the Dukes. He'll shoot a three. He missed it long and rebounded easily by Filipowski. Proctor in the front court. Circles right over to Filipowski's screen. Top of the key. Back to Filipowski. Left wing. Three on the way. No good off the side of the rim. Long rebound taken by Roach. Out to Proctor. Duke shoots another three. Missed this one off the back of the rim. And rebounded by JMU. 7-2 Duke, 6.35 to go in the first. Brown up top, run a high screen. Bounce pass, right of the lane, Bickerstaff working in the paint. Ducks under, knocked loose, and a foul on Filipowski. A foul against the Blue Devils. Really smart play by Bickerstaff, just the up and under. Just try to get Kyle Filipowski off balance. To get him off balance, that's usually where you can pick up fouls and earn it from the free throw line. But i got to give Duke credit. 
the Blue Devils came out, and you don't know what to expect. You can watch tape, but I always said, I saw JMU play a lot on tape. They're much better in person. Mm. So clearly Duke is prepared for the matchup. John Shire, we asked him about watching the tape and watching the game between JMU yeah. and Wisconsin. He said, well, it was up in the air as the free throw is good by Bickerstaff. The, the, the assistant coach I had watching Wisconsin thought Wisconsin was going to win. The assistant yeah. coach I had watching JMU <laughs> thought they were going to win. He goes, but a few minutes into the game, I had a pretty good idea yeah. who was going to win. You can say it, but we felt that too, to yeah. a degree. I mean, we call the game, we feel it the way you feel it as a player in, in some ways, but the James Madison team, they really just had it from the start. Bickerstaff's free throw is good. One thing they did, though, they forced 13 first-half yeah. turnovers in that game. Duke much better at hanging on to the basketball. I think Duke was just more prepared for this. They understand what they're facing. 7-4 Duke. 6-20 to go. We're in the first. They go to Ryan Young now in for Filipowski for Duke. In the lane, McCain with a pull-up, and it rolls around, hit every part of the rim, came off. Mitchell grabbed the rebound, but knocked out of his hands, out of bounds. It'll stay with Duke, with 20 on the shot clock. The other thing you learn, too, when you watch someone like Wisconsin try to operate in half court, the more you operate, the harder it is to get a shot, right? I think what Duke learns here is if you can get quick hitter action and take the first best shot, that's your best option. You're surprised they gave Filipowski such an early break. He's going to need it. <laughs> Out of the right wing, it's Proctor driving it right to the baseline, spinning fadeaway, good for the Australian Tyrese Proctor, Duke a 9-4 lead. Now into the game for JMU is Michael Green the third, a spark plug, six-footer out of the Bronx, Mount St. Michael Academy. In the right corner goes to Wooden, driving along the baseline, on the right, what the dunk did he miss? Ball deflected away by Duke Mark Mitchell met him in midair. Proctor on the other end for the Blue Devils. Left to the lane. Feeds off for Mitchell. It's stuck from behind. Mitchell stays with it. Mitchell trying to clear space. Backs it out. McCain a three. It's good. Oh, Duke stifled inside, but do not give up. And they take a 12-4 lead with 15-20 to go in the first. And the Blue Devils have really leveled up in terms of their intensity and toughness. Been an impressive start. Michael Green out of the left wing. Jump pass to a rolling Bickerstaff. Got Young in the air and he drew the foul as Ryan Young landed on the back of Bickerstaff and went tumbling to the ground. And we'll get our first timeout of the first half. With 15-10 to go in the first, Duke a 12-4 lead over JMU for the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This is the men's basketball tournament. It's game day at Jim's house, and the spread is impressive. Mike's already done some damage with the hot wings, and now he's dropping back and going deep for another slice of pizza. I sure hope he brought the Pepto. Mike knows the Pepto-Bismol provides fast, five-symptom relief from unexpected stomach upsets. He's no rookie. <laughs> the way he's throwing back those nachos, he's the GOAT. Be ready for game day with Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. The Masters is on Sirius XM. Yes, sir! In the tournament's long and storied history, only three men have defended their title. Jack Nicklaus finishes in great style. 1990 Masters champion Nick Fowler. The year of the Tiger again at Augusta. Could John Rahm become the fourth? Never thought I was going to cry about winning a golf tournament, but I got very close. Listen to coverage of the Masters tournament beginning Monday, April 8th on Masters Radio on Sirius XM. Progressive presents Renters MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Joe Fallon's Bedroom Mini Fridge. Sure, this pint-sized chiller's max capacity is three soda cans, but what it lacks in stature, it makes up in cooling strength. Each beverage, a perfect 37 degrees every time. And the two feet Joe walks to get a drink, priceless. That's why his mini fridge is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never frozen beef. Like a juicy Dave's single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with an app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave's single, Dave's single, order in the app. Dave's single, Dave's single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamburger March Madness. Limited time offer, participating U.S. Wendy's. The offer details and redeem the Wendy's app account registration required. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S. and Alaska. 
Let's check the schedule of tournament games coming up on Westwood One, sponsored by Duluth Trading Company. Duluth Trading Company stacks your starting lineup with higher performing gear all year round, plus keeps all your zones covered and comfy online or in store. Get into Duluth today after the game here in Brooklyn. We'll have the number one overall seed, UConn, taking on number nine, Northwestern, while the winner of this game heads to Dallas on Friday to take on the winner of the game between Houston and Texas A&M. That'll be a rock fight yeah. in Texas. i got to say, we've had really good games, good matchups, good fan bases, and great crowds. Uh, and, I, and I also yeah. want to point out, the NBA arena is perfect for shooting, right? The, all the light on the court. Yeah. The backgrounds are that, perfectly dark. That is one thing that Barkley Center does yep. and Madison Square Garden does is they have the stage lighting. So the, yeah, the court is lit up like a stage. The crowd is kind of in darkness, makes you feel like you're at a Broadway play. Well, you kind of are. I mean, these guys are performers. <laughs> T.J. Bickerstaff at the line for JMU. First on the way is good. Well, be a VIP with the NCAA experience at the 2024 Men's Basketball Regional Rounds. Score premium March Madness tickets and exclusive hospitality access. A VIP experience for the VIP fan. Visit NCAA.com slash VIP. Second free throw missed by Bickerstaff. Duke a 12-5 lead. We have played five minutes here in Brooklyn. Yeah, Filipowski five, back in. Yeah, five minutes gone by, and Filipowski's already gotten a rest in this one. Roach to the corner. McCain, three on the way. It's good for Jared McCain. He's got nine of Duke's 15 points. And a very friendly stare down of the JMU bench as he went by after hitting one in the corner closest to the bench. A friendly stare down. Yeah, friendly stare. They're all friendly. Rydell in the right corner. His first touch. Back and down Proctor, right block, spins, leader, rejected by Filipowski, out of bounds. Yeah, for a little that. intent behind that was that was not so friendly a block. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It probably wasn't the best idea either. Friedel trying to take Proctor into the post, but you had the secondary and defender in in Filipowski right there. Fourth inbounds near side again. Edwards on the bench with two JMU fouls. His replacement Horton. Knocks down a defender, turns to the rim, and lays a right hook off the window. Great Quan Horton, the junior, a transfer from the College of Charleston. And it's Duke 15, JMU 7, with 14-15 to go in the first. And Duke doing a good job of contesting everything, which means they're present in terms of help side around the basket. Ball knocked loose into the backcourt. Run down by Proctor, but that is a backcourt violation against the Blue Devils. Their first turnover. JMU going to go to jail and carry the big fella, 6'8", 245, giving Bickerstaff a break. Carry, he fits in that, you know, could possibly be an NFL tight end category. Yeah. Came in over 300, got himself down, and now he's going to battle with Filipowski. Carry handling between the circles out of the right wing now. It's Horton. Feedback to Friedel, missed the layup. Had to hurry it because Filipowski was there. Duke on the move, right to left into the front court. A stumbling road, stops, backs it out. Proctor, he'll shoot a three. It's no good off the back of the rim, and JMU with a rebound. Duke a 15-7 lead, 13-4 to go in the first. JMU, around a high screen, it's green, working the paint. Feeds, carry, go to the rim, but he got his arm hooked, and a foul is called against the Blue Devils. And Jeremy Roach is hurt. His arm, he's going over to the trainers in pain, sticking out his, his left arm, and three trainers coming around him, concerned right now. Yeah, he, he got his he got his left arm kind of in the Ooh. cookie jar. And wow, he is in pain right now. They're trying to, it's like they're turning his arm. Wow. He uh, has got the arm straight, sitting on the end of the bench. So we still hasn't st Yeah, we're not supposed to speculate, yeah. but typically when you do that, you, you are concerned shoulder. Mm -hmm. Again, not speculating on what it could be, but the way they're straightening and pulling his arm down. Yeah, and the way he got his arm caught in there. It's, that's, and that's a big key, Jeremy yes. Roach. An outstanding guy, senior, co-captain, carries free throw is good. Alongside John Christman, I'm Chris Carino here in our Granger courtside seats at Barclay Center in Brooklyn. Gain a winning edge for your business with Granger. You'll find supplies and solutions for every industry when you call. Click Granger.com or stop by one of over 250 branches nationwide. Free throw missed, and they continue yeah, to look at Jeremy Roach on the sideline. And he's in considerable pain. Sean Stewart has checked in for the Blue Devils. Duke a 15-8 lead, 13-20 to go in the first half. They also get Jalen Blakes in the game. Blakes handling, hits to Filipowski in the high post. Filipowski 
pump fake, moves left and ran into carry, and a foul is called against Jalen Carey. Filipowski at seven foot out on that wing. He can he can shoot it. And he can put it on the deck. Well, it's interesting because out on the perimeter, he's not really going to get a, too much help. Right? He's not going to get a double team. So he's going to have opportunities so long as you have good floor spacers out there. Now, Blake's on the floor now for Roach. Not a great shooter, so they may help at times off of him. Proctor inbounding along the left baseline. Inbound out top on the left for Filipowski. Moves it to Jared McCain, top of the arc. McCain. Played by Xavier Brown. Gives left Filipowski. Takes a handoff. McCain comes by. Filipowski puts it on the deck. Looks to spin. Can't get anywhere. Moves it right. Blake to three. It won't go. Rebound still loose. Filipowski at the top of the arc. Moves it left. Proctor shoots a three. It's good for Tyrese Proctor. Duke is four for seven from behind the arc. They have an 18 to eight lead with 12.48 to go in the first. With Filipowski around the perimeter, they had great spacing. So when the shot went, went up, they had the advantage on the offensive glass. Horton trying to spin. Bumps in a leaner. It won't go, but JMU will get free throws. It's what I'm still keeping an eye on on Jeremy Roach there on the bench. I mean, yeah, they're working by his left hand. He has finally relaxed his arm. He's leaning straight back in his chair at the end of the bench. And trainers are working in that left hand area. At the line is Raekwon Horton. Free throw on the way is good. You can listen to Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's basketball tournament for free on the Varsity Network app. Listen to every game, live or on demand. Download the Varsity Network app now and search NCAA Championships. You know, it's, it's it was really tough to watch there because his reaction was, you know, tapping the leg, kind of like shaking Jeremy the Rose, hands, yeah. and, you know, it seems to be starting to come back a little bit, but, man, considerable pain. 18-9 Duke after the second free throw. Missed. 12-28 to go on the first. Proctor. In front of the JMU bench on the far side, up top to McCain. Duke attacking the basket, two hour left. Filipowski, triple hand off to Proctor, eight to shoot for the Blue Devils. Stacks up, shoots a three, a line drive, and it's good. For Tyrese Proctor, his second made three, and Duke a 21 9 lead. Approaching 12 minutes to go in the first, three. Gives it up, gets it back, top of the arc. Edwards back in the game with two fouls. Coming to right over a carry screen, green. Holds. High post to carry. Bumping Filipowski. Ball knocked loose and stolen away by Jared McCain for Duke. Pass ahead. Front court Proctor. Back to McCain. Right wing three. It's good again. Duke bombing away from behind the arc there. Six of ten from three. And a timeout with 11.46 to go in the first. Duke 24. JMU 9. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk, too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive could save hundreds, which could be life-changing. Life-changing. I mean, you could put that money towards that zero-turn lawnmower you've always wanted. And after using its edge-shaping technology to meticulously sculpt the face of the Mona Lisa into your grass, you'll become the undisputed king of Saturday morning lawn care, leaving your neighbor and sworn enemy Gary to question his place in the delicate neighborhood ecosystem. 
And it's all because you could save money switching at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Not available in all states. Finding quality candidates for your small business is no Little League game. But Indeed can help you cover all your hiring bases. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. From now through the national title game, stream every game in the NCAA men's tournament on Westwood One. Sponsored by Wendy's, you can listen to all our broadcasts live on the official NCAA March Madness app. And on our website, WestwoodOneSports.com, or by asking Alexa to open Westwood One Sports. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks to the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in the Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. The Duke Blue Devils, a much improved three-point shooting team from the one that lost in the second round at Tennessee last year. 15th in the nation this year at 37.7%. John, in their last game against Vermont, they went 6 of 18 from 3. Already in yep. this game, in the first half of 11.46 to go in the first, they've gone 6 for 10. They have a 24 to 9 lead. Well, they have nearly as many three-point makes as James Madison has field goal attempts. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that's just telling you about the pace they're able to put on this game. But really, it's about their ability to manage the pressure. That's something Wisconsin, the more they tried to move the ball, the more impossible it got to score, the more they turned it over. Duke has been good with initial action, scoring quickly, all shooting it with confidence. Jeremy Roach, they taped a couple of fingers together, but now he's walking back toward the locker room. He's not on the floor. JMU with it. Terrence Edwards, the Sun Belt player of the year, has it top of the arc. Feeds carry rolling the rim. Met in the air by Sean Stewart, but a foul is called against Duke. I think they, they thought, thought about that for a second. He was up in the air, but... Carey did not get the initial call, but they saw the body contact and figured had to blow the whistle. Second foul on Stewart, another break in the action. 11.30 to go in the first. Duke 24, JMU 9. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now, you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus, with our March 31-day sales event, you can save $377 off every window and $777 dollars off every door when you buy four or more units. Just text MARCH to 200-300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no monthly payments, and no interest for a year. That's right, you don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text MARCH to 200-300 to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Hurry, this incredible 31-day sales offer is only in March. Text MARCH to 200-300. Text the word MARCH to 200-300. MARCH to 200-300. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You need parts? O'Reilly Auto Parts has parts. Need them fast? We've got fast. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Product availability. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants to polos and khakis to Oxfords or T-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. It's time for the Coles fact of the game. Duke is 120 and 40. That's a 73% win percentage. Margaret, the best winning percentage in tournament history with a minimum, a minimum of 20 games played. And that's the fact of the game sponsored by Coles. It's a new season of Coles. Find fresh everyday styles for you and your home at great prices. Shop Coles and Coles.com. 
today. Duke a 24 to 9 lead over JMU. 11.30 to go in the first. Jeremy Roach did make his way back out to his team, and it looks like he's going to check Checking into in. the game. Now he has the left pinky and the left ring finger taped together. By the way, did you say 120 for 40? Yes. One, wow, 124. And then you said the, rec the, the record is based on 20 games or more. Yeah, well, teams that have had 20 games or more. Teams that have had 20 games or more, and they've, had, they've played With that many. JMU would not qualify. Wow. Harry misses that free throw. There are some things, like statistically, that put in put into words or perspective kind of the, the presence and power of Duke. It's it's kind of humbling, to be honest. Well, they're seeking their 29th trip to the Sweet 16 as Carey misses both free throws. McCain with a rebound. North Carolina is out of the Sweet 16 for the 31st time. That's the only team that has gone to the Sweet 16 more than Duke. Filipowski up top now to Mitchell. Moves it left to Proctor. JMU ratcheting it up. Proctor working down the lane. A wild scoop won't go. Rebound is saved by JMU, and they've got it. In purple, going left to right. Edwards out of the left wing. Edwards, who got two quick fouls, splits two defenders, going to the rim, and he lays it up and in. He's their best player. They need him out there, and he cuts this lead to 24 to 11 with 10.52 to go in the first. Yeah, and he's going to have to be one of their smartest players just to be able to stay on the floor. 10.45 left. It's important that he plays every bit of that. Proctor and McCain have combined for 20 of Duke's 24 points. Proctor's got it on the right now to McCain. McCain behind the arc on the right wing. Down a nine to shoot for the Blue Devils. Drives and kicks to Roach. Here's the three for Roach. No good off back rim. Rebounded by Xavier Brown for JMU. Hands it off right wing to Green. Green circles. Keeping a man at his hip. Back to him. Carey working inside. And a muscle layup is good. Carey just thumping and using his physicality. And JMU has cut the lead to 11. Really set up by Green. This is a great job coming off the ball screen, getting the defender on his back, and then forcing Kyle Filipowski to make a decision. JMU crowd coming to life here at Barkley Center. Filipowski top of the arc. For Duke, moves it right. Roach to the foul line with a pull up. In and out, no good. Carey with a rebound. Bouncing it ahead to Brown. JMU in the front court, left to right. Moves it across. Porton on the right. Hands to Edwards. Edwards. Looks over the defense. Comes left with a dribble. Met by Filipowski, head of the arc. Backs up. Looking to take him off the dribble. Pump fake. Moves it right. Horton. Bounce down low to Carey. Ten to shoot for the Dukes. Carey. Right of the lane. On the block. Spinning. Pass out. Left wing. Ends up in the corner. Edwards has it. Three to shoot. Edwards. Step back. Three. Off the side of the rim. No good. And Duke with the rebound. Edwards is not the best shooter, bit of a flat shot. He wants to get to the rim, so if he gets in a late clock situation, JMU's in a tough spot. McCain now handles up top. JMU 0 for 3 from behind the arc. Duke 6 for 11. Filipowski hands it off up top now. McCain coming left. Gets a seam down the lane. A wild reverse. It goes down. Jared McCain maneuvering around defenders at the rim. And Duke a 26 to 13 lead with just under 9 minutes to go in the first half. When Jared McCain makes three-point shots early, the rest of the floor just opens up and the game gets that much easier. Now Xavier Brown coming left for JMU in front of the Duke bench, working up top for Carey. 12 to shoot for JMU. Carey bounce it right wing Edwards. Behind the arc, doesn't want to shoot though. Comes left, six to shoot, bumping with Filipowski. Moving right, right of the lane, nowhere to go. Gets to the foul line, tough leaner. It won't go and rebounded by McCain for Duke. And Edwards is down, holding his face. Duke with numbers, right wing. Roach has it, gives it up to McCain. Finds a wide open Mitchell. Carey comes over, Carey ties him up. Knock loose, JMU's got it. On the march into the front court, Edwards. Down the lane, step through to the rim, the layup is gone. 8.07 to go in the first. Duke 26, JMU 15. They're starting to build a little something here in the game. JMU just has to capitalize on stop situations. Physicality has picked up a little bit. Left side, it's McCain. Coming right on a screen from Filipowski. Gets to the paint. Back door to Filipowski. And a two-hand slam for Filipowski. He's got four points. He's made two field goals. More than just the one shot attempt he had on Friday. Jared McCain working the two-man game. Just brilliant, knowing that Edwards has two fouls. Carry for JMU. Give it room. He'll shoot a three. No good from the big fella. And rebounded by Duke. Carry 
Only his 20th three-point attempt of the season. Sometimes there's a reason you're open. 28-15 by, by design. Yeah. 7-15 to go in the first. McCain on a high screen. McCain, the step back, right wing three. Oh boy. It's good! Jared McCain with the three. He is five for five from behind the arc. And Duke with a 31 to 15 lead. Seven minute mark in the first. Down the lane. Brown with a runner. It's good. Xavier Brown answering back for the Dukes of James Madison. McCain is, he's just having one of those nights as a shooter. He had one earlier this season against Florida State. It just went off. 17 points here in the first half for the freshman out of Sacramento, California. Now he bumps with Xavier Brown at a foul here against JMU, and that leads us to a timeout. 6.39 to go in the first. Jared McCain with as many points as JMU. 31-17 Duke. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio. Would you drink? Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up spills quicker. And each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less than the leading ordinary brand. So you can get back to your night. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. It's NCAA championship time. Fans of the hustle, Present. fans of the heart, Present. fans of the flash, grit, and grind. Present. The best fans in the lands are bringing everything they got for their team. Be there when your squad hoists the ultimate trophy overhead. The NCAA championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. Not to brag, but Progressive's Name Your Price tool is mankind's greatest tool ever. Even better than the wheel. Sure, without the wheel, we wouldn't have modern transportation or funny videos of dogs riding skateboards. But without the Name Your Price tool, we wouldn't have easy access to auto insurance options based on our budget. And, well, cars do need wheels. They also need insurance. And insurance never goes flat. Learn more about the greatest tool ever. The Name Your Price tool at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Not available in all states. What companies deserve your hard-earned dollar? Which would you want to work for? How can you know if they share your values? Just ask us. Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks who really means business in supporting workers, customers, communities, the environment, and shareholders. We measure progress, track success, and help them be better. When you see the Just Capital seal, you know what's real, because just business is better business. Visit JustCapital.com to learn who makes your dollar count. Brad Heller back in the Verizon studios in Los Angeles. Get the network you can rely on for your phone and your home internet and save. Find the plan that's right for you at Verizon.com. What a performance by Purdue. The top seed in the Midwest blowing out Utah State 106-67. A school record 31st win this season. Zach Eady, 23 points, 14 rebounds. Boilermakers are headed to Detroit to take on Gonzaga on Friday. Marquette kicked off the day, an 81-77 win over Colorado. First week, Sweet 16 for the Golden Eagles since 2013. They're going to Dallas. They'll take on the 11 seed NC State coming up on Friday. Let's get you back to Brooklyn. We rejoin Chris Carino and John Crispin. 6.39 to go in the first half. Duke a 31-17 lead over James Madison, doing it on the strength of Jared McCain, who's made five of five three-point attempts. He's got 17 points. And if you're head coach of the JMU Dukes, Mark Byington, how are you getting your team back in this game, John Christian? Well, number one, you have to defend the three-point line. So you take the three-point line away. You continue to attack. If you can get to the basket and then get to the free-throw line, as they've done, five attempts from the free-throw line, just have to make those. You put together a stretch. Not one possession, not two, but a nice stretch run. McCain working left down the lane, going to the rim. Met by three defenders and knocked to the ground. And a foul is called against JMU. I don't think it was on the contest. I think the call, based on the uh, whatever visual descriptor the official gave, it's on the elbow. Yeah, a little shove there underneath. It's on Julian Wooden. That's his first free throw coming up from McCain. First free throw attempt of the game for Duke. And the free throw is good for McCain. He had 14. I should say he had 15 points in the game on Friday 
against Vermont. And this is his 19th point as he knocks down that second free throw in the first half. 6.25 to go still. 33-17, Blue Devils. JMU with it. Green, a lob inside of Bickerstaff, had to bring it down as he's followed up by Mitchell and shoots a right hook off the window that doesn't go. Batted around, the follow from Wooden didn't fall, and Duke comes away with it. On the move front court, it's Blakes. Or excuse me, Proctor. Moving around to McCain. Works right, McCain. Kick it out right wing. Proctor a three. Well short. Rebound on the floor. Scooped up by Brian and Young. Ryan Young trying to turn. Knock loose out of bounds. It'll stay with Duke. Ryan Young coming in. Giving Filipowski a blow on the bench right now. Yeah, Ryan Young learned very quickly. You don't bring the ball down against JMU. They just hound the basketball when Biggs bring it down. Put it on the floor. Proctor inbounding right baseline adjacent to the JMU bench. Hands it in. Roach working to the paint to the rim. And he lays it up and in. Jeremy Roach. With those fingers on the left hand taped together, back in the game, his first point since he got banged up. All the non-taped fingers he was saying, too small. Those were fine, yeah. Now we get a whistle here, a foul against Duke before the shot by Friedel. A foul's called against Tyrese Proctor. Yeah, there's a name we haven't really called that much. No, Friedel. Friedel, yeah. I mean, he was terrific in their Friday night contest. I mean, always looking to shoot three-point shots, but tough on the glass, tough rebounding, tough on defense. Hasn't really been able to impact this game too much. He's been the one chasing off the guys off the three-point line, whether it's McCain or Proctor. In his fifth season of college basketball, transfer from South Dakota State. He's a South Dakota native, a former Summit Rookie of the Year, and the Sun Belt Championship Most Outstanding Player this year is James Madison. Captured the title. Sec uh, free throw missed by Friedel on the front end of the one-and-one. An 86% free throw shooter. Hasn't missed much this year. But not much going right for JMU here in the first half. Duke with an 18-point lead. Five and a half to go in the first. Chris Carino and John Crispin with you in Brooklyn. Second round action. McCain stumbling. Backs it out for Roach. The Duke of Blue Devils. Moving right to left in the white. Bickerstaff flashes out. Roach going around him left. Kick it out to Proctor. Left wing three. No good. Bounced off the rim. Young with the rebound. Turns. Lays it up. It won't fall, but a foul is called. It'll put Ryan Young, the Duke big, at the line. One, one of the more humbling things is because we come into this game talking about Duke and the aura and everything that is Duke basketball. They're fighting right now. I mean, they're playing as hard as anybody in the NCAA tournament, and that's what you really got to commend from this Duke team because that's what they had to bring to be able to compete against JMU. Ryan Young, New Jersey product, free throw is good. Later on, we'll select a coaching move of the day, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts or all your car care needs. Get the parts and service you need fast from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Ryan Young out of Stewartsville, New Jersey. Free throw missed off the back rim. Rebounded by Friedel for JMU. Duke a 36 to 17 lead under five minutes to go now in the first half. Edwards out of the left side, hands it off for Xavier Brown. Coming right, out of the circle, back it out to Friedel. Nice drive on the catch, leaves it all back door. Wall reverse, no good, but knocked down. Young fouled Bickerstaff as he went for the reverse layup. Bickerstaff gets off the floor and he'll go to the line. That was the first time JMU's really been able to get into continuity and movement, right? Little back screen, rescreen action, then just rip through, get to the basket, draw two. Dump down. I mean, really good action offensively from JMU to get Bickerstaff to the free throw line. Bickerstaff at the line here. This JMU team, the largest deficit they faced this year is 19. They were down against Georgia Southern on February 24th as that free throw is good. And JMU came back to win that game, 80 to 74. But Duke tell, is not Georgia Southern. Tell me there's a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I ain't no band leader. <laughs> By the way, Godfather, 52 years old today. Yes, that's right. And I was able to get a Godfather reference well in, in the first half. Free throw good by Bickerstaff. You know we have another game tonight, too. <laughs> Different <laughs> audience. You're going to have to get it in. 36-19, yeah. Duke. 4 40 to go in the first. On a high screen, it's McCain. Oh, excuse me. It's Roach feeding Filipowski. Rolling to the rim. And he banks one up and in. Kyle Filipowski's got six points. Duke's been physical. I mean, that finish from Filipowski, he initiated the contact with Bickerstaff and finished through that contact. 38-19, Duke, 420 to go in the
first. Rydell working left, runs into Filipowski, cut to force it inside, and he turns it over. Duke comes up with a steal. Fourth, JMU turnover. Roach handles up top, gives it up, gets it back. This senior out of Leesburg, Virginia. Feeds inside, Filipowski, jump stop at the rim, and a lay-in with the left hand. Kyle Filipowski overpowering the Dukes inside. It's a 9-2 run, and JMU now facing their biggest deficit of the season. With 4.01 to go in the first, it's Duke 40 and JMU 19. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. It's game day at Jim's house, and the spread is impressive. Mike's already done some damage with the hot wings, and now he's dropping back and going deep for another slice of pizza. I sure hope he brought the Pepto. Mike knows the Pepto-Bismol provides fast, five-symptom relief from unexpected stomach upsets. He's no rookie. (laughs) The way he's throwing back those nachos, he's the GOAT. Be ready for game day with Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants to polos and khakis to Oxfords or T-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. With Marriott Bonvoy, take your game day rituals on the road. No matter how you show your team spirit, you can find a stay for your style with over 30 hotel brands and thousands of global destinations. Marriott Bonvoy has a brand for every kind of fan. Marriott Bonvoy, official hotel partner of the NCAA. Discover more at MarriottBonvoy.com slash NCAA. It's NCAA championship time. Fans of the hustle, Present. fans of the heart, Present. fans of the flash, grit, and grind. Present. The best fans in the lands are bringing everything they got for their team. Be there when your squad hoists the ultimate trophy overhead. The NCAA championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. You're home for the national championships. We welcome you back to our Granger courtside seats at Barclays Center in Brooklyn along with John Christen. I'm Chris Carino. For the ones who get it done, there's Granger offering professional grade products for all industries, fast delivery, and free technical support. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. 401 to go in the first half. Duke 40 and JMU 19. This has got to be one of the most impressive performances I've seen Duke make. And it doesn't mean that they're playing perfect basketball. JMU's not going to allow the game to be perfect or too pretty, but Duke has really answered all the questions we may have had about them against JMU coming into this matchup. The Dukes of JMU with the purple going left to right. Brown left wing three is well short. Rebounded though by JMU. Reset for Edwards. Nice through the paint. Stop, spins, right hook, hit on the arm, and finally a late whistle and a foul against Filipowski. The official on the baseline didn't see it. The official on the far side saw it and called it. And it's the second foul on Filipowski. And that's going to get Ryan Young into the game. And Filipowski's going to go to the bench. Yeah, I, I don't know. I I think sometimes we officiate outcome. And that's okay. I get, I get why. But I think Edwards went up to shoot and ended up having to pass. And it seemed as if his arm got hit because he changed it to a pass. That's one way of seeing it. I don't, <laughs> it did you think he was shooting? I thought he was hit on the arm. Oh, okay. Initially, when I saw it, I, I, I thought he was hitting the arm. I was surprised there wasn't yeah. a whistle. And then when I heard the whistle See, late, I, I said, I better thought late was, than never. I thought he was hit on the off arm. <laughs> okay. Edwards is a right-hander. He shoots it from his shoulder, as you pointed out the other night. And now he is going to make the free throw and go to the bench. Some call it a shot put. Yeah. It really is. And, and that's where he gets himself in tough situations when he's got to get a, sh- a shot up in a late clock situation from the perimeter. 
Edwards kind of not in rhythm right now. He's the Sun Belt player of the year, but had two early fouls. Duke great pressure. Mitchell down the lane to the rim and a right hand slam for Mark Mitchell. Right down Flatbush Avenue here in Brooklyn to the rim and a 42 to 20 lead for Duke. 320 to go in the first. JMU has to pick up and pressure a bit, but Duke was able to go right at it and get one easy. JMU handling Friedel up top off the screen into a three, and it's good for Noah Friedel, a 38% three-point shoot. That's the first made three of the first half for JMU. And Duke, again, going to continue to see this extended pressure, but if you attack it, you're going to get left. They break it easy, go to the rim. Blake's got knocked to the ground, hip checked to the ground. And a foul is called. And it'll be two free throws for the Blue Devils. Well, stay with us for the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. Brad Heller will have the tournament scoreboard, as well as an interview with Northwestern head coach Chris Collins. It's coming up at the half. Sponsored by Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Third foul on Julian Wooden. The starter for JMU. And you're in a tough spot if you're JMU here, where you have to pick up and pressure, but committing too much to that pressure, extending too much against a team like Duke, who has multiple ball handlers and good passers. Free throw good by Blakes. As they take Wooden out, Edwards back in. Raekwon Horton comes back in for JMU. Blakes Two. gave him good minutes. Good minutes. 2.50 to go in the first. 44-23, to 23, Duke on top. Friedel again off a high screen, curling to three, it's no good. Rebound bounce to the corner, run down and take it off the floor by Duke as McCain comes up with it. Gives to Proctor, looks to his right, gets a play call from John Shire, his head coach, a former All-American player at Duke, assistant under Mike Krzyzewski. And now the head coach, a movement right wing, a deep three from McCain and it's good. McCain is six for six from behind the arc. That one was deep. And Duke with a 47-23 lead with 2.15 to go in the first half here in Brooklyn. On a 6-3, he tosses his hands up like Jordan did against Portland many, many years ago. The, what can I do? Yep. Here's Bickerstack. Turn around, fade away. It won't go. And rebounded emphatically by Ryan Young of the Blue Devils. On the top now, Proctor has it. Under two minutes to go before halftime. Duke a 47-23 lead over James Madison. The James Madison Dukes have never been to the Sweet 16. And they are down 24 here in the first half. Young hands it off up top McCain. McCain's feeling it. Draws two defenders. Feeds a rolling Young in the paint. Kick it out, Roach. Extra pass. Top to a three. No good. Weak side rebound, Friedel. Here come the Dukes in transition from left to right of the purple. Rydell backs it out for Bickerstaff. Bickerstaff working top of the key now with a hard right-hand dribble. Hands that to Edwards. Edwards looks over the Duke defense. Down low it goes to Bickerstaff. Right of the lane against Proctor. A spin under the rim. Try to feed the cutter. Broke it up. Stolen away by Duke. And they'll hold up and slow it up. Jeremy Roach. Last man into the front court. And now John Shire will use a timeout. With 106 remaining here in the first half, Duke a 47-23 lead over James Madison. And you're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Progressive presents Renters MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Joe Fallon's Bedroom Mini Fridge. Sure, this pint-sized chiller's max capacity is three soda cans, but what it lacks in stature, it makes up in cooling strength. Each beverage, a perfect 37 degrees every time. And the two feet Joe walks to get a drink, priceless. That's why his mini fridge is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. One oh six remaining in the first half in Brooklyn. Duke a 47-23 lead over James Madison. Duke already with the most points in a first half this season. They're one point away from their well, correction. First half this season most points is 48. They're one away. Well, Young up top hands to Proctor. A dominant performance by the Blue Devils here at Barkley Center in the second round looking to get to Dallas. And a showdown with a winner of the game between Houston and Texas A&M. 
Up top, Proctor working left down the lane. Try to dump it off. Stolen away by JMU. On the move left to right. They feed Friedel. Go to the rim and he lays it up and in. Noah Friedel with a bucket with 40 seconds to go in the first. 47 25. Duke on top. Now Duke right to left, middle of the front court. McCain hands it off near the midcourt line to uh, Jeremy Roach. There is about an eight second difference. Shot to game clock. Out high on the right, it's McCain. Friedel comes out on him. Eight to shoot now for Duke. Between the circles, it's McCain. Pulls up, three on the way. Off back rim, rebounded by JMU. Final second, pass ahead, overshoots Friedel. And out of bounds into the tunnel behind the basket to our right. It's still plenty of time, eight and a half seconds left for Duke to actually be patient. Maybe run quick action, get, get a good shot up here. JMU with their sixth first half turnover. Duke breaks pressure. Pass to the wing, deflects out of bounds. It'll stay with Duke at just 1.7. So 1.7 on the game clock. First half, 47-25 Duke. Duke inbounding. Proctor in the corner. JMU, Mark Byington's going to get Julian Wooden back in the game here. His third foul with three fouls. Yeah, they're going to put him on the ball, though. Yeah. Length on the ball. At least just be disruptive on the inbounds pass. Yeah, the tallest guy, 6'8", bigger staff, 6'9". They inbound Duke, left side, McCain. A deep three, left wing. Banked off the side of the rim. No good. And Duke will fall one point shy of their most points in a first half this season. But Jared McCain goes six for seven from three. That miss is only miss from behind the arc in the first half. And Duke goes to the locker room with a 22-point lead. Yeah, I, and one point shy of, of their season record. I think they feel pretty good about that first half performance because it wasn't just about making shots. It was about managing all the physicality, setting the tone in terms of who the initiator was going to be. Well, it was Duke from start to finish. Duke made eight three-pointers. While James Madison only had made eight field goals wow. in the first half. The halftime score, Duke 47, JMU 25. When we return, we'll head back to our studios for the Wendy's Halftime Report from the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This is the Men's Basketball Tournament. <coughs> oh, this cold. Honey. <laughs> Honey. Honey, you need DayQuil Severe Honey. DayQuil Severe Honey gives you powerful cold and flu symptom relief with a honey-licious taste. Because life doesn't stop for a cold. Okay, I'm ready to go. <coughs> now I'm getting a cold. Honey. Try DayQuil Severe Honey for powerful cold and flu relief. DayQuil Severe with honey flavor. The daytime coughing, aching, stuffy head, fever, honey-licious, power through your day, medicine. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. Opening day is coming. And we can already hear the buzz in this ballpark. Get ready for the season with Sirius XM and MLB Network Radio. Shohei Otani brings it to their feet. You'll hear every MLB game on Sirius XM, including your hometown announcers on the all-new Sirius XM app. It is right here. And talk about the game on MLB Network Radio, the only 24-7 baseball channel on radio. Sirius XM 89 and the Sirius XM app. NCAA championship time. Fans of the hustle. Present. Fans of the heart. Present. Fans of the flash, grit, and grind. Present. The best fans in the lands are bringing everything they got for their team. Be there when your squad hoists the ultimate trophy overhead. The NCAA championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never frozen beef. Like a Juicy Dave single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with in app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave single, Dave single, order the app. Dave single, Dave single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamburger March Madness. Limited time offer, participating U.S. Wendy's. See offer details on the Wendy's Wendy's app account registration required. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S. and Alaska. Welcome to the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. 
Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeeming Wendy's app or account registration required. See offering Wendy's app for details. Now, here's your host, Brad Heller. The Duke Blue Devils are red hot first half in Brooklyn. They lead James Madison 47 to 25. Jared McCain has almost matched the Dukes by himself. He's got six three pointers and 22 points. Duke on top of the Dukes by 22 at the half. Welcome inside our Westwood One studios in Los Angeles. Let's get to the scoreboard. The one seed in the Midwest, Purdue. We all know what happened last year, bowing out. To FDU as a 16 seed. Well, you know what? This year, the Boilermakers on to the Sweet 16, and they're on a mission. They hammered Utah State 106 to 67. Zach Eady only had one field goal in the first 10 minutes, but then he turned it on. 23 points and 14 rebounds. Fifth Sweet 16 in the last seven tournaments for the Boilermakers. But the way Eady sees it, it's only two wins down and four more to go. No satisfaction. Don't think anybody, like I didn't come back to make the Sweet 16. I came back to make a run, a deep run. Nobody's satisfied with where we are now. Everybody wants to keep pushing, and we're going to keep taking care of our bodies, keep executing, focus on this game plan, and prepare for Gonzaga. Preparing for Gonzaga, Edie and the Boilermakers will take on the Zags on Friday in Detroit. Game number one in Indianapolis, Marquette in Colorado. This was close down the stretch, but Tyler Kolick, part of a couple of big baskets for the Golden Eagles, and they hold off the Buffaloes 81-77. Marquette's first Sweet 16 since 2013, and Marquette is a two-seed last year. They bowed out in round two, but Kolick and company are still dancing, and they're headed for Dallas. It's been a long time coming, even for this group. You know, we feel like it's been a long time coming. That first year didn't go how we wanted. The second year certainly didn't go how we wanted. And then, you know, coming back this year, we had a vengeance. And, we, you know, I told the guys before the game, you know, this, this moment has been in our nightmares, and we're not running from it anymore. Tyler Kolick, 21 points and 11 assists. His second straight double-double. Marquette's going to face NC State coming up on Friday. Clemson and Baylor, they are just underway in Memphis. The Bears, the three seed. The Tigers, the six seed in the West region. You can hear that on westwoodonesports.com. Also, the official, the official March Madness app and Sirius XM. That's the tournament scoreboard sponsored by Just Capital. Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good, like Bank of America, ranked number one in the banking industry and number one for commitment to workers. All Duke so far in the first half in Brooklyn, 47-25. The Blue Devils lead the Dukes of James Madison. Coming up, an interview with Northwestern head coach Chris Collins before his Wildcats take a shot at UConn. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never frozen beef. Like a juicy Dave single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with an app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave single, Dave single, order the app. Dave single, Dave single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamburger for March Madness. Limited time offer, participating U.S. Wendy's. See offer details and redeem the Wendy's app. Account registration required. Fresh beef available in particular U.S. and left. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to Oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Protect your engine with Shell Rotella motor oil at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Shell Rotella provides triple action to help control wear, deposits, and emissions and adapts to your driving conditions. Right now, save $5 on all one-gallon Shell Rotella products. Limit supply. See your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store or O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's game day at Jim's house, and the spread is impressive. Mike's already done some damage with the hot wings, and now he's dropping back and going deep for another slice of pizza. I sure hope he brought the Pepto. Mike knows the Pepto-Bismol provides fast, five-symptom relief from unexpected stomach upsets. He's no rookie. <laughs> the way he's throwing back those nachos, he's the GOAT. Be ready for game day with Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. 
Welcome back to Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the men's basketball tournament from the Verizon Studios. I'm Brad Heller. Get the network you can rely on for your phone and your home internet and save. Find the plan that's right for you at Verizon.com. Duke up 25 at halftime on James Madison, 47-25 in Brooklyn. Game number two at Barclays Center features the defending champ and number one overall seed UConn against the nine-seed Northwestern. The Huskies barely broke a sweat on Friday against Stetson, their record seventh consecutive tournament win by at least 13 points. Meanwhile, it was a 12-point win for Northwestern over FAU in overtime, but you can't judge that game by the final score. The Wildcats needed a Brooks-Barnheiser basket with eight seconds left in regulation to tie, and then they dominated the extra period. Head coach Chris Collins, he sat down with our John Crispin. Coach, You've been here long enough as a coach, but also in the NCAA tournament now long enough as a coach to understand the fragility of success. So what does a Friday night win over FAU mean to you today? Well, it means a lot, and, and the margin for error is so slim. Yeah. I mean, look at these games. You know, it's it's a shot here. It's a missed free throw there. It's one possession, especially when all these teams are as good as they are. But for our program, what we're trying to build, you know, this is our third opportunity to be the NCAA tournament. All three of those times, which have all come in the last seven years, we've been able to advance, which means a lot. Not only, you know, you take pride in getting here, but then if you get here, can you do anything? You know, and we've been able to win. We've never been able to win that second game. You know, that's the next hurdle we got to go over. We got a, a pretty big mountain to climb with that. But uh, it's really great for what we're trying to build with the winning culture of our program and where we're trying to head. All right. When you look at the matchup today with, with UConn, there's depth, there's length, there's athleticism, there's two of every kind, as, as my friend Seth Greenberg likes to say, it's Noah's Ark. So, how do you feel you match up with, with this deep group? Well, I think what's great about the NCAA tournament, look, if we were playing a series, a seven-game series, it's really going to be hard to beat them four out of seven. But what we have to say is, okay, what can we do on that one given shot, that one night we have a chance? Very first thing is we have to be efficient. When we're playing, we have to play at our tempo. We have to execute. We have to take good shots. We can't turn the ball over because their runouts and their easy baskets turn into huge explosive Mm -hmm. runs. Then they are so proficient offensively. I mean, I am so not in awe, but it, admire so much the way how unselfish they are and how their continuous movement, their continuous motion, they hit you with different actions. Our defense is going to have to be on point, and you got to play a full possession. They really make you pay when you make mistakes. What, what does Boo Booey do for you? Uh, I mean, obviously, like this is a guy you've been with for his entire college career, which is a lengthy one. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've seen him develop, but really he's become a leader and a bit of a killer. Yeah. And that's really been the reputation he's developed. So, so what does he do in terms of your confidence coming into this matchup? Yeah, I, I think you hit it on the head. You know, um, you know, kind of reminds me when I my first two years playing in college, I played with Grant Hill, yeah. and when you walk out, and I'm not saying Boo is Grant, but in our realm, he he's our Grant Hill, yeah. and you get confidence when you're one of those other guys when you when you play with that great player. I mean, he brings us a swagger, he brings us an attitude. You know, he's not afraid. He he wants to play in the big games, and it carries over to the other guys and it gives them a little bit of a boost like hey this guy's on my team I'm it puffs everybody's other other guys chests up out a little bit like hey we can do this thank you coach we wish you the best now back to the Westwood One Broadcast Center in Los Angeles all right John thank you very much Chris Collins and his Northwest Northwestern Wildcats will take a shot at defending champ UConn that'll be game number two in Brooklyn. Game number one's at halftime. It's been all Duke so far. 47-25 over James Madison. Jared McCain, six threes and 22 points. We'll take a break. We'll rejoin John and Chris Carino at Barclays Center after this. From the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. The countdown to the 2024 NFL Draft is on Sirius XM NFL Radio. Caleb Williams, is there anything this guy can't do? Beginning April 25th, we're live in Detroit with pick-by-pick coverage of all 32 teams. With the first pick, the Chicago Bears select. You'll hear expert analysis and exclusive interviews with the next generation of stars. I want to be a legend. I want to have a golden jacket. Get ready for the NFL Draft with Sirius XM NFL Radio Channel 88 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Where are my basketball fans at? Welcome to Fandom 101. The NCAA men's hoop season is here, meaning it's time for you to bring a little charisma and chaos for your squad. Be the sixth man in the stand. NCAA Division I men's basketball. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. 
Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash MVP tickets. Class dismissed. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Protect your engine with Shell Rotella motor oil at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Shell Rotella provides triple action to help control wear, deposits, and emissions, and adapts to your driving conditions. Right now, save $5 on all one-gallon Shell Rotella products. Limit supply. See your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store or O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive could save hundreds, which could be life-changing. I mean, you could put that money towards that zero-turn lawnmower you've always wanted. And after using its edge-shaping technology to meticulously sculpt the face of the Mona Lisa into your grass, you'll become the undisputed king of Saturday morning lawn care, leaving your neighbor and sworn enemy Gary to question his place in the delicate neighborhood ecosystem. And it's all because you could save money switching at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates, not available in all states. Halftime in Brooklyn, Duke of 47-25 lead over JMU as we check the halftime stats sponsored by Barbasol. Feeling great starts with a great shave. A great shave start with Barbasol shaving cream for whatever your day brings. Choose Barbasol. Barbasol, it's a can of can do. Duke led by Jared McCain. He went 6 of 8 from 3, 7 of 11 from the floor, 22 points to lead the Blue Devils. They were 8 of 18 from behind the arc as a team shot 50% from the floor and did a great job t- taking care of the basketball. Just two turnovers in the first half against the JMU team that took it away from Wisconsin 13 times in the first half in their win in the first round. JMU, they did go 8 of 20 from the floor, but just one of six from behind the arc. Seven for T.J. Bickerstaff. Terrence Edwards got into some foul trouble in this game. But JMU, who coming into this game had only trailed by 19. That was their biggest deficit of the season. And right now, trailed by 22 at the half against the number four seed in the South, the Duke Blue Devils. This has been the Wendy's NTA Tournament at Report. Get a Dave single for just a dollar, a Dave's double for just two bucks to the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in the Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. Our halftime score, Duke 47, JMU 25. We return. We'll have the start of the second half. You're listening to Men's Basketball Tournament on Westwood One, NCAA Radio Network. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20 volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20 volt max power stack battery two pack free. A $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of Deck Plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last. Selection varies by location. The less your business spends, the more margin you keep. But today, everything costs more. So smart businesses are graduating to NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system, bringing accounting, financial management, inventory, HR into one proven platform, helping you reduce IT costs, maintenance costs, and manual errors. Over 37,000 companies have already made the move to NetSuite. Now through April 15th, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash hoops right now. NetSuite.com slash hoops. Dude Wipes presents Bathe Your Bum. <clears throat> While TP may appear to clear your rear, it actually leaves behind dry, pilly gifts clinging inside your rump's rounded rift. There's no bigger bummer than a bee crack that's whack. You need extra large wet strength for an effective attack. To fully wash stains, stinkies, crispies, and crumbs, it's time to ditch the dry paper and bathe your bum bum. Your dump dent deserves it so plump and so round. Use wet, flushable dude wipes for the best clean pants down. Where are my basketball fans at? Welcome to Fandom 101. The NCAA men's hoop season is here, meaning it's time for you to bring a little charisma and chaos for your squad. Be the sixth man in the stand. NCAA Division I men's basketball. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash MVP tickets. Class dismissed. Westwood One presents Great Moments in Tournament History. 
April 2nd, 2022. After having played 257 times previously, Duke and North Carolina finally faced off for the first time in the NCAA tournament, and it was at the Final Four to boot. Adding even more intrigue to the game was that it could be the swan song for Blue Devils legendary coach Mike Krzyzewski, who announced he was retiring after the season. The contest did not disappoint and featured 18 lead changes and 12 ties. But Caleb Love's 28 points, including a clutch three-pointer in the final minute, KO Duke and led UNC to an 81-77 victory. Heels will motor up the floor with six seconds. He'll launch a three at the top of the key. It's no good. Rebound secured by R.J. Davis. And the Heels kick their rivals to the curb on their way to their 12th national title game. And in the process, in the career of the Hall of Fame coach Mike Krzyzewski. With another great moment in tournament history, I'm Ryan Radke. Well, time for John's Keys to the second half, sponsored by NetSuite. Now through April 15th, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to netsuite.com slash hoops right now. That's netsuite.com slash hoops. As we get ready for the second half in Brooklyn, Duke a 47-25 lead over James Madison. Look, I'm going to start with James Madison, and the first thing you have to do is close the door for Jared McCain, but you can't do so while opening the door or even a window for anybody else. I mean, when you think about how much you're down, you've got to start to limit the options for Duke to be able to continue to pull away and give yourself chances to get back into this game, which means you got to play fast pace. you got to get up and down the floor. Now, where they did have success was getting to the basket. They got to the free, block, free, free throw line. Excuse me, can't get that one out. 5 of 10 to start the game. If they made more free throws, it may have been a yeah. closer game. So that's how you got to start to chip away, and maybe you get some of the Blue Devils into foul trouble, start to mess with the rotations where you got different lineups. But ultimately, look, the idea is don't let Duke be as great as they were in the first half. The free throw shooting for JMU, 8 of 15. And you talked about the aura of Duke. That aura just gets bigger yeah. when they're up 22 at the half. Yeah, it, it becomes something that you actually believe, right? So as an opponent, you come in and you go, oh, I feel it, right? You walk into Cameron, you walk in and see the Cameron crazies, you feel it. Well, then when you get down 25, you believe it. And then it's a lot different. Even though this JMU team has, along with UConn, the best record in Division yep. One this year at 32-3. and three. Haven't lost a game outside of the month of January. All three losses came in conference play in January in the Sun Belt Conference. Just their second season in the Sun Belt after 37 years in the CAA. As we get ready to find out which team will get the job done, the start of the second half sponsored by Indeed.com. Looking for quality candidates this year? Look no further than Indeed. Indeed's video interview tool takes the hassle out of virtual hiring. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Regardless of what happens today, JMU has done a remarkable job of turning around their major athletics program. Yes. They went to the Sun Belt because of football. They were a powerhouse at the, the second level, but now up as a a bowl series team at JMU. They built a 40,000-seat yep. stadium there, and Mark Byington's done a terrific job and inherited a program that won nine games four years ago. Yeah, he has done a really good job, but also kind of building this culture that is... It's belief in being better than everybody else. It's a weird thing to say. They have a real belief that they belong where they are right now and should beat Duke. And Friedel off the bat, missing on a three. Rebounded by Brown, a leaner. That won't go. And McCain comes down with it for Duke. They're underway in the second half. Blue Devils with a 47-25 lead over the Dukes of JMU. As Tyrese Proctor handles, picked up by Terrence Edwards between the circles. Hands left out of Filipowski. Filipowski, who had eight points in the first half, dribbling top of the key back to the basket. Hands to McCain, kicking on the wing. Hurt. Jeremy Roach feeds a rolling Filipowski, trying to go back to him, broke it up. JMU with a steal. In the purple, they go right to left. Edwards, left of the lane. Pirouetting in the lane with a leader, and it's good. And JMU with the first to score here in the second half. Terrence Edwards is a really tough open court player, and it puts Kyle Filipowski in a tough situation where he's got to play the spin gap just to create enough space not to pick up a foul. Jeremy Roach, two fingers on his left hand, taped together after injuring that in the first half. Mitchell high post, moves it left, Proctor in the corner, goes McCain a three, and it's good. Well, halftime didn't cool him down at all. He is now 7 of 9 from behind the arc, 25 for Jared McCain, the freshman. 
Kane's got a really strong base, and he's deliberate with his shot, always on balance. Edwards pushing in the paint with a fadeaway. It's no good. Filipowski rips down a contested rebound. Up the left side now, Proctor for Duke. Duke in white with the blue letters and numbers going left to right. Filipowski top of the arc, thought about a three. Hands instead to McCain. Moves it left. Roach has it, calls for a screen. Filipowski comes up and slips it. McCain one on one, excuse me, Roach one on one against Edwards behind the arc on the left wing. And now a whistle away from the play is a foul is called against Raekwon Horton. Horton started the second half instead of Wooden, who's got three personal fouls. Well, later on, we'll select the play of the day, sponsored by Old Spice, introducing Old Spice Total Body Deodorant Spray, giving you 24 7 freshness from pits to toes with daily use. McCain is 7-9 from 3. I would use him in every single action on the offensive end because he has, he's developed that gravity we talk about. Filipowski left the lane, a couple of moves, and it will fade away. In and out, no good. And Bickerstaff, a strong rebound, holding Mitchell off while he counters it with one arm. JMU in the front court now. They're down by 23. Just over two minutes gone in the, first, in the second half. Bickerstaff, right of the lane, and a post up against the smaller Proctor. Stins, caught at a bad angle, trying to feed Friedel, who couldn't handle a pass, and Duke comes away with a steal. Seventh JMU turnover. And now Jeremy Roach slowly walks it across the midcourt line. Cuts around Brown. Back door to Filipowski. Layup off the window is good, and a foul is called. Roach to Filipowski and Duke with a 52 to 27 lead with two and a half gone here in the second half the largest lead of the game for the Blue Devils so Roach attacks the same side as as Jared McCain's on Jared McCain's man is not helping up so Friday out he's not going to leave McCain the only person that could help was the backside covering the big in Filipowski and he gets a wide open layup Filipowski who averages 16.7 a game. Free throw is good. He's got 11 in this one. But how dare he only take one shot last game and be the most brilliant decoy in the history of the NCAA tournament. I mean, really, I think we gets caught up on the surface. He had a good game by being a decoy and welcoming the double. Edwards now for JMU. Cuts left around Filipowski going to the rim. And Filipowski blocked it, but a foul is called. Foul on the baseline on the Edwards drive. Filipowski called for his third personal. Well, download the official NCAA March Madness Live uh, March Madness Live app as you can listen to every Westwood One broadcast of the men's basketball tournament for free. Just look for the headphones icon on any live game. And if you're in the car, it seamlessly integrates with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Get the official NCAA March Madness Live app today. So I, I know Duke and... Edwards John, free throw is good. John, John Shire was very upset about the way Filipowski was written up after that game because yes. I don't think people understand that it's sac winning is sacrifice. And and if you're getting a double team, the best thing you can do is welcome it and give the advantage to somebody else. That's what Kyle Filipowski did. And I think that's commendable. Free throw is good by Edwards. Talked about all the Gretzky's, the hockey assists, yeah, and, hockey assists. And a lot of passes that he made that were good decisions for open looks that they just didn't make the shots. Yeah. Create opportunities. Create oh. an advantage. Here's McCain working right around. Roach going to the rim. And Roach lays it up and in. Jeremy Roach with a hard driving layup. And Duke with a 55-29 lead. Just over three minutes gone in the second. Now Friedel. Throws a bad pass. Duke a steal. Two on one. Mitchell driving. Blocked in midair by Friedel. Wow. Mitchell was going to dunk it in Friedel. All six foot four of them denied him at the rim. Well, that could have gone one of two ways, but Friedel met him above the rim. Timed his jump perfectly. Corner three. Oh, no. Proctor is scored. And a foul is called. Tyrese Proctor on the quick inbound from the left corner right in front of the Duke bench. Drains a three and a four-point play opportunity for the sophomore. It was a very quick inbounds, and Tyrese Proctor read that perfectly. No one was really set from a defensive standpoint. Throws it into Kyle Filipowski in the short corner. Proctor immediately enters right into the ball side corner, hits the three. Long closeout, puts him on the free throw line. And he said, uh, Noah Friedel, I'll see that block yeah. dunk attempt, and I'll raise you a corner three and an and one. As Proctor missed the free throw, knocked around, and Friedel comes up with it for JMU. Friedel did a good job of quick jumping, meaning he beat Mitchell to the air. 
But Duke's done just a little bit more all game long. Now Edwards spinning in the lane, and Alina is good for Terrence Edwards Jr. 58-31, though. Duke's still on top with 6.24 to go in the second half. Duke in the white court, left to right. Filipowski out of the left wing, now to Roach. Coming around a high screen. Roach to the top of the key. Roach dancing with it. Picked up the dribble. Lob it to Proctor. Same corner, left side three. It won't go. Edwards had the rebound. Lost it. Friedel's got it for JMU. Ahead now to Edwards. Into the front court. JMU in the purple and gold. Going right to left. Crossover. Driving it right. Spinning back. Out top, Friedel. He's contested. Moves it right. Edwards has it again. Right in front of the... JMU bench out top to Green who's in step back straight on three it's good from Michael Green the third out of the boogie down Bronx just over the the river here and Duke a 58-34 lead 15 quarter to go in the second Green plays as if he could start anywhere in the country down low Filipowski high low brought it down and the ball taken away by Friedel here comes JMU right to left ahead to Edwards left wing stop behind the arc cut off by Proctor they set a screen up top, move it to carry, pass down low, broken up, and stolen away by Duke. JMU with their ninth turnover. Duke with the ball at a 24-point lead. 15.08 to go in the second half. On the line, a trip to Dallas in the Sweet 16. Filipowski, top of the arc, moves it left for Roach. Roach looking inside. High low to Mitchell, down to Filipowski, and he one times it at the rim, and lays it up and in, and Duke is rolling a 60-34 to 34 lead with just over five minutes gone here in the second half. It's good execution on the ball side. Duke Pitt recognized they got the switch, and then it attacked the switch. Edwards, quick spin, going to the rim, and he scores. Terrence Edwards has picked up the scoring. He's got 13 points. He's really done everything off the bounce, getting to the rim. 60-36 to 36 Duke. 14-25 to go in the game. Proctor up top. Played by Friedel. Hands it left. Lebowski. Pass on the left wing. Roach driving. He got fouled by Michael Green the third. And we're going to time out. With 14-18 to go in the second. Duke 60. JMU 36. From the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This is the men's basketball tournament. It's game day at Jim's house, and the spread is impressive. Mike's already done some damage with the hot wings, and now he's dropping back and going deep for another slice of pizza. I sure hope he brought the Pepto. Mike knows the Pepto-Bismol provides fast, five-symptom relief from unexpected stomach upsets. He's no rookie. <laughs> the way he's throwing back those nachos, he's the GOAT. Be ready for game day with Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to Oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. Ressa presents Renters MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Joe Fallon's Bedroom Mini Fridge. Sure, this pint-sized chiller's max capacity is three soda cans, but what it lacks in stature, it makes up in cooling strength. Each beverage, a perfect 37 degrees every time. And the two feet Joe walks to get a drink? Priceless. That's why his mini fridge is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. You can listen to the live stream of every game in the NCAA men's tournament right here on Westwood One, sponsored by Wendy's. Get a Dave single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks. With the offers in the Wendy's app, Wendy's the official hamburger of March Madness. A limited time offer of participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. Chris Carino and John Christian with you in Brooklyn. Second round. 
14-18 to go in the second half. Duke, a 60-36 lead over James Madison. Jared McCain with seven made threes has tied the Duke NCAA tournament record. The record set by Quinn Cook against Mercer back in 2014. It's good ball movement, though. I think that's a big piece of it. Like, you ask the question, how does someone who's making threes continue to get open threes? Well, first off, you have numerous weapons for Duke. You also have a really good passing big. And then the action, when you have the advantage inside, that, that breaks it off, maybe slip screens to the basket. It just forces everybody down. So McCain continues to get good looks. Duke has 15 assists to 22 there made field go. goals. To your point, here's Jeremy Roach. Trap near the midcourt line, nearly stepped into the backcourt, but he saves it to Proctor. Out top to McCain, six to shoot. Pull up three. Nope. Off to the left, no good. Rebounded, ran by Queen as JMU in the purple. Go right to left. Three to the foul line, hooks it back out, a jumping wood makes the catch. Gives down low to carry. Carry right of the lane. The big fella with a bump and a spin and a hook. It won't go, but a foul is called against Ryan Young, who would come in for Duke, replacing Filipowski. Well, the official NCAA ticket exchange, the only NCAA approved place to buy and sell authentic 100 percent guaranteed final four tickets with other fans. This is the official NCAA ticket exchange today at NCAA.com slash exchange. Jalen Carey going to the free throw line. Just a 52% free throw shooter. Get a slight delay there. Ryan Young had a contact out. Watched him unfold it and just shove it back in his eyes. Let's yeah, rub it. Free throw good by Carey. A little saline solution? I don't know. It's for after the game. <laughs> Jalen Carey's brother Vernon played it, Duke. A little bit in the NBA mm -hmm. as well. Vernon Carey. Free throw is good. 13.48 to go in the second. Duke is 60 to 38 lead over JMU. The Duke's the hottest team in the country with 14 consecutive wins. Duke came off losing to NC State in the quarterfinals of the ACC tournament and then beat Vermont in the first round. Up top, Roach moves it right for Mitchell. Out of the right side line now. It's McCain coming left, jump pass, trying to go back to Mitchell. Deflected by Edwards and it bounces in the Band area of JMU. Off to actually, that was the Northwestern North band that fielded it. Yeah, he's yeah. warming up. The trombone player with some nice hands over there. Proctor in down on the baseline. Young working inside with a hook shot that won't fall. Rebounded by JMU. Wooden has it. Ahead to Edwards now in the front court. Edwards, top of the key. Working with foul line. Up and under into a leaner, but he traveled. He moved the pivot foot to go up and under. Tenth turnover by the James Madison Dukes as Duke will get Filipowski back into the game. You know, we were talking during one of the breaks as if, almost in a way, did, does Wisconsin feel like the sacrificial lamb? Because Duke watched that and said, okay, we are prepared because of what we saw JMU do to Wisconsin, right? They're prepared for the intensity, the physicality, the pace, and all those things. And, and Duke has really controlled the game. Mm -hmm. Here's Proctor. Turns the corner. Proctor cut off. Retreats to the wing. Proctor brings out the defender, Horton, on him. Filipowski going to come up to set a high screen. Proctor gets doubled out of it, finds Filipowski right wing, six to shoot, puts it on the deck, turns, spinning on Carey, muscling one up, no good, but he drew a foul on Carey. And that'll be the second on Jalen Carey. JMU's got to be careful. There were only one point on the shot clock there, and that's why yeah. I think there was some frustration. I mean, they, they got to be careful, though, not to pick up a time. I mean, a technical foul. I mean, down 22, but... Late in the clock, just wall up, go straight. It's much easier for a taller, longer player to wall up. I think that there's understanding to that as to why. Kyle Filipowski at the line. will attempt just his second free throw of the game. It's on the way, and it is good. Well, fans, you can listen every minute of the NCAA men's tournament on Alexa. Just ask your device to open Westwood One Sports, and you'll be able to select the game you want to hear or get access to our March Madness Mix channel. We'll take you to the best action at any given moment that's open Westwood One Sports to listen on Alexa. Kyle Filipowski. Got a twin brother, Matthew, plays at Harvard. Misses that free throw. Harvard in two. Not bad. Yeah. 
She's doing all right. there for the twin Filipowski brothers. 61-38, Duke. 12 and a half to go in the second. Wood working inside. Tough leaner. Won't go, but a foul is committed by Duke. As Roach jumped in front of JMU's Julian Wood and two free throws coming up. Second foul on Roach. And JMU's best offense is their first option. And that's really what you have to do when you're down so big anyway. You just get down the floor, maybe run quick action, attack the first option you get. Wood at the line. Free throw banks off the back of the rim. No good. The Dukes are just 12 of 20 from the free throw line. Left-hander Wooden, second is good. The Blue Devils, 61, JMU 39. 12.28 to go in the second half here in Brooklyn. As Tyrese Proctor brings it up the right side out of the NBA Global Academy in Australia. Left side, Roach, down little Filipowski. Draws two defenders, out to Roach. Roach resets left wing, and now a whistle and a foul on Carey. Battling for position down low against Filipowski. Gets called for the foul, that'll be his third. It's really hard to officiate two big bodies fighting, jostling for position. Like, who has the position and who's trying to dislodge? Well, it seems like both of them. Inbound quickly for Lepowski, right back to Proctor. Three in the corner, and it's good. It's a long two. His foot was on the line, but Duke takes a 63-39 lead. Edwards down the lane, driving layup. Defended well, not loose by Stewart. Duke going the other way. Left wing, McCain a three. It's good! Jared McCain owning that property behind the arc here in Brooklyn. His eight threes, a new NCAA tournament record for a Duke player. Now a foul line jumper on the other end is good for Green. With 11.40 to go in the second, Duke 66 and JMU 41. That's exactly something Coach Byington said. We've got to be good in the half court defensively because that's where Duke operates. But we have to be mindful of transition because that's where they can bury it. Lepowski now up top. Moves it right. McCain down the lane. Twisting left hand. Layup is good. McCain says, I can go to the rim too. And Duke dominated. 68-41. They lead it. 11-12 to go in the second half. Now Green gives it up, gets it back, straight on three, off the heel. Rebounded, though, inside by Carey. He'll put it up. That comes off the front of the rim, no good. Another rebound by JMU, but it's stripped loose. It'll stay with the Dukes, and we'll get a break in the action as it goes out of bounds. We're 10.59 to go in the second. Duke 68, JMU 41. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. It's a mystery where Old Spice finds its amazing scents like Himalayan sea salt, but I'm thrilled they have because no other body wash exfoliates and moisturizes 24-7 like Old Spice Gentleman's Himalayan sea salt body wash. Now, if only there was a mountain range separating the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan plateau where I could hide my Old Spice and keep my family from stealing it, my impossibly smooth skin will finally be safe. Progressive presents 10 things on a plumber's to-do list that are harder than getting a small business insurance quote. Waking up for 5 a.m. plumbing disasters, finding out why water is pouring from the ceiling while telling a customer to leave the room, replacing a pipe in a home from the 1800s, then dealing with invoices or your awkward apprentice or that really weird smell, and then there's breathing and eating and, of course, clogs. But the easiest thing on any small business owner's to-do list? Seeing if you could save on the business insurance that's right for you. Get a quote in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company. Coverage provided and service by affiliated and third-party insurers. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Keep your tires looking like new with superior coverall tire shine at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Our professional parts people can help you choose the right detailing supplies for your vehicle. And right now, get two bottles of superior coverall tire shine for just $18. See store for details. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. (laughs) 
Brad Heller back in the Westwood One Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. Time to check the tournament scoreboard sponsored by CDW and Intel. CDW and Intel can help you get more from your technology so you can do amazing things. CDW and Intel make amazing happen. Clemson leads Baylor 30-22. to Two and a half minutes to go in the first tab. You can hear that live, westwoodonesports.com. Also, the Varsity Network app. Purdue on to the Sweet 16. The Boilermakers crushed Utah State by 39. Zach Eady, 23 points, 14 rebounds. Marquette over Colorado by four. The Golden Eagles going to Dallas. They'll take on NC State Friday. Back to Brooklyn, Chris Carino and John Crispin. 10.59 to go in the second half. Duke a 68-41 lead over James Madison. Jared McCain, the freshman in the Sacramento, California, two-time California Gatorade Player of the Year, has 30 points. He's made a Duke NCAA tournament record eight threes. McCain's season high this year was actually 35 against Florida State back on February 17th. That tied Zion Williamson's freshman record. And in that game, he hit eight threes, and that set a Duke freshman record. So Jared McCain is getting it done in just his second NCAA tournament game. 10 of 15 from the field, 8 of 11 from three. That's just a crazy stat. Freshmen. Freshmen are different. They go to Duke. Edwards stick. Out of the wing. Edwards a three. No good. Rebounded by Friedel. A reset. Right of the lane. Back it out for Green. Moves it left. Edwards. Pump bait. Drives cut off by Filipowski, who is called for the foul. He can't believe it as he is called for his fourth. You, you know what, though? Not all freshmen who score a lot or perform really well in these situations are the same, right? They. He's not a Zion Williamson-like freshman who's going to be a lottery pick. There's a good chance he plays a two, three, four-year career at Duke. Yeah, especially with the NIL money now. Uh, There's a lot of reasons why. Here's Green on a high screen. Green picked up by Stewart, who's in. Filipowski goes to the bench of the four fouls. They post up inside on Bickerstaff with a turnaround hook, and it's good. Inside, T.J. Bickerstaff going to the Brooklyn side, the reverse side. That's a bowling turn, John Christian. When you go to the opposite pocket, it's called the Brooklyn set. I don't know, I just kill the pins. <laughs> I'm sure just you did. Hard. <laughs> just break them. 68-43 Duke. 10-13 to go in the second wow. half. And Proctor knocking one down from the left wing right front of the Duke bench. Three ball from the corner pocket. And Duke is rolling. One to three. He knocks it down on the other end. 71-46 Duke. We are just past the midway point of the second half. JMU extended up a little bit to change into a zone. Duke just figured it out immediately. Very patience and poise. Proctor got a wide open three. JMU this year allowed teams to shoot just 29% from three. That was the fifth best mark in the country. Today they have allowed 50% from three to the Duke Blue Devils. Left side. Roach a three. It's good. You get a three. You get a three. Everybody gets a three for the Blue Devils in Brooklyn. With 9.29 to go here in the second half. Duke on top, 74 to 46. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Apply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but it's waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Hey, College Hoops fans. It's the best time of year again. And if you're a homeowner, there's more to love than just incredible basketball action. Because right now, you can save hundreds of dollars replacing your old windows and doors with Renewal by Anderson, sponsor of Westwood One's coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Right now, save $377 off every window and $777 off every door. Just text March to 323232 for your free consultation and free price quote on top quality affordable renewal by Anderson windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no payments, and no interest for a year. That's right. You don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text March to 323232 right now to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door. But hurry, these big dollar savings won't last long. Text March to 323232 before the savings madness ends. Running your own 
business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. Ball four. Take your base. The only thing worse than a pitcher running out of gas on the mound is your old phone running out of storage for your photos in the stands. Goodbye, home run! Switch to Verizon and get a great deal on a new iPhone 15 Pro with tons of storage for all the ballpark picks you want. Just trade in your iPhone, any model, in any condition, so you'll feel like you're winning, even when your team's not. Trade in any iPhone in any condition for a great deal on iPhone 15 Pro with Unlimited Ultimate and get iPad and Apple Watch SE with eligible service plan, only on Verizon. Don't forget, you can listen to Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament on the TuneIn Premium. Listen to every game with four dedicated Westwood One channels or catch the action all at once with the March Madness Mix channel featuring live listen-ins of all the games. It's all on TuneIn Premium. Just download the app and search Westwood One. 9.29 to play, second half in Brooklyn. Duke a 74-46 lead over James Madison. Chris Carino and John Crispin with you here at Barclays Center. Duke just 9.29 away from moving on to the Sweet 16 for the second time in three seasons. And the second time under their former All-American John Shire as head coach. And would head to Dallas. Look on the winner of that game between Houston and Texas A&M. You got Jalen Blakes and Sean Stewart in the game. I think it's a great opportunity for John Shire to, to find a little depth, continuity with that depth here in the NCAA tournament. Rydell out of the right wing. Trying to feed the rolling Bickerstaff. Cut off. Back it out to Green. Moves it in the corner. And Edwards lost the handle, and Duke comes away with a steal. JMU with their 11th turnover. And Duke now in the white going left to right. Approaching nine minutes to go in the game. They have a 28 point lead. Tyrese Proctor between the circles, played by Friedel. Proctor with a crossover, cuts left. A little shimmy and a shake and a fadeaway, and it's good for the Australian Tyrese Proctor. And Duke has a 30-point lead. Just feels like every empty possession for JMU. Green left wing three off back rim, no good. Rebounded by JMU. Offensive reset pass inside, stolen away. Stewart with a steal. Ahead to Blake, going to the rim. Went to dunk it. Oh. Rydell knocked him sideways, and he landed on his shoulder. Wow, that was a gruesome fall as Blake yeah. went head over heels and landed on his shoulder. The officials are going to look at it. That was a scary fall. Yeah. Rydell knocked him. He grabbed the rim. And then he came down on his shoulder, and his head kind of bounced a little bit at the end. It's a horrifying fall. It's not a dirty play it's, by Friedel. It's not. If anything, Blake's actually got a little his left hand on Friedel. But the fall, which, look, I, I get, I understand at times we officiate the outcome. It's really hard not to when you have such a, a terrible fall like that. And the fact that. Jalen Blakes is yeah he's they, gonna go right to the locker room he's uh, a junior at a Somerset New Jersey he got up he's limping a little bit he's favoring his right arm and he definitely you gotta check him out make sure he's okay with the, the head as well yeah I mean uh, Rydell uh, went for the block on the dunk and the ball got kind of stuck between the hand of Blakes and the rim the right hand of Blakes and the rim so Blake's kind of got hung up on the ball in the rim. Oh. So the contact with Friedel just kind of put him in a prone position. He went sideways to the ground and actually led with his right shoulder and arm. And then when he hit the ground, his right shoulder and arm, his head kind of bounced a little bit. So he is going to go to the locker room. Say really? Uh, I mean, you did a good job of describing it. That was a really gruesome fall where he really landed you know, head and, and upper shoulders before anything else hit. They are going to call a flagrant one. I I don't think I, I don't agree with that. I don't that. agree with that. I, I really don't. I don't think that Friedel did anything that was uh, was was over the top or excessive. Well, on this play. He was going he was going for the block. 
It's, and again, if anything, I think Blake's used his yes. left arm to ward him yes, off. Yes, I, I think it was the left hand that kind of warded him off. But again, I get it. That they're officiating the outcome. It, yeah, it's just it's, it's an unfortunate it's, outcome. It was not an excessive play. No. Roach at the line, free throw by himself. The line makes the free throw. Well, the other the other component of this is is officiating it, getting it right, particularly when you get to the modern. And they tend to go letter of the law, mm -hmm. excessive and unnecessary. I mean, it's not necessary to let them score. Yeah, free throw yeah. good by Roach, and it's it's also not a close game yeah. right now. And you, you'd like to just sort of make sure that the message is sent to everybody right now over the yeah. last eight twenty nine. As they will get a couple of uh, TJ Power going to come into the game. The truth of it is, if he doesn't fall that way, then it's not a flagrant. Exactly. Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll remain with Duke. TJ Power, a freshman of Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, is Uncle Mike Power. Let's play quarterback at Boston College. Isn't TJ Power the thing they give like for like cars, like awards? The TJ Power award. Oh wait, yeah, wait there. Yeah. <laughs> To teach it. Here's Roach up top now for Duke. Comes left. Works some two defenders. Go to the rim. The layup. Wave it off. A foul before the shot. I think it's TJ's oh, brother. It's JJ Power. Yeah, yes. Yeah, JD Power. TJ's Not brother. TJ Power. JD Power. It's like the it's like the Blake's family. A couple family members had gone back to the tunnel to, to take a look yeah. at Jalen Blake's. It was, it's scary if you're yeah. a family member of the crowd and see that. It was good that he remained conscious and he did get up and walk out the tunnel. Roach at the line. Free throw on the way is good. He rattles it in. He'll get another alongside John Crispin. I'm Chris Carino here at our Granger courtside seats at Barclays Center. Stay on top of your game with Granger. Get the industrial grade products you need to help keep your operations running when you call 1 800 Granger or click Granger.com. I was thinking about this today. John Christian. The road free throw is good. Mortimer, you know, the Duke brothers from yep. trading places. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Randolph and Mortimer. Yep. Remember to, in in coming to America. Yes, they, they they're, got, they're, they're, got a little coin. They're by the Brooklyn Bridge. Yes. Yes, when Eddie Murphy gives them the money and they yep. go, we're, we're back. <laughs> that was right nearby, right over by the Brooklyn Bridge. Here's Green with a runner, it won't fall. Rebounded by Duke with 7.50 to go in the game. Duke up 80-46. to 46. Somewhere Mortimer and Randolph were smiling, watching Duke play the Dukes by the Brooklyn Bridge. Duke and Duke. And lost the Dukes. Here's Jeremy Roach. Gives it up for Mitchell. Behind the arc in the right wing. Driving it, right of the lane. Mitchell with a spin, left hook, blocked and controlled by Wooden. Julian Wooden with an impressive play defensively. Rydell, right wing, walks into a 34, and it's good for Noah Friedel. And a timeout. Noah Friedel knocking one down from Manhattan that time. As we pause 10 seconds for station ID, this is the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, your home for the national championships. A break in the action, 7.21 to go in the second half. Duke 80, JMU 49. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on the RMA 460V lawnmower battery set. Real steel. Find yours at steelusa.com. With AK-30 battery and AL-101 charger. Offer valid for a limited time only. Participating dealers while supplies last. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Keep your tires looking like new with superior coverall tire shine at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Our professional parts people can help you choose the right detailing supplies for your vehicle. And right now, get two bottles of superior coverall tire shine for just $18. See store for details. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. With Progressive Snapshot, you could save on auto insurance rates by driving safely, which is great because you're rarely rewarded for just being you. Ever get rewarded for being left-handed? No. You get to use weird scissors. Your reward for being a Capricorn? Cold birthdays that conflict with the holidays. And your reward for quickly responding to every work email? More emails. But with Snapshot, even left-handed Capricorns with proper email etiquette could get rewarded for good driving. So download the Progressive app today. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates. Snapshot not available in all states or from all agents. 
The problem with average underwear? The bench. The steam. And the sweat. The fix? Duluth Trading Buck Naked Underwear. Get Buck Naked, the most comfortable underwear there is. No bench, no stink, no sweat. Only at Duluth Trading. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on select AK System battery tool sets. Real steel. Find yours at steelusa.com. Offer valid on select AK System sets for a limited time only. Participating dealers while supplies last. Stay up to date with the NCAA tournament by following Westwood One Sports on X. We'll be posting highlights, tip-off alerts, and most importantly, direct links to listen to your favorite team live. Follow Westwood One Sports on X today. Chris Carino, John Crispin back with you in Brooklyn. 7.21 to go in the second. Duke with an 80-49 to lead over James Madison. The Blue Devils of Duke have made 13 of 25 for behind the arc. That's 52%, shooting 55% as a team. Jared McCain with 30, two away from Zion Williamson's Duke record for points in the tournament game by a freshman. Jalen Blake's back on the bench, which is a very good sign yes. given that fall. And he was smiling and high-fiving his coaches and teammates. T.J. Power hands it off for Proctor, coming left. Proctor in the lane with a leaner off last. It won't go. A flying rebound is grabbed inside by Stewart, and he got fouled going to the rim. One of the more impressive things about Duke tonight has, has been their fight. Maybe think that's that's been a question. I don't know if it's a real a valid question, but I think it's just when you have such young talent, you wonder if they're going to fight as hard as JMU will. Well, they fought more. Mm -hmm. So you add that fight with the talent they possess, and this is a good Duke basketball team. Stewart high, arcing free throw, land short on the front of the rim, no good. Sean Stewart. He has a 36-inch vertical close to what you can jump, John Crispin. And that tied a school record set by Zion Williamson as he knocks down that second free throw. Former version of, of oneself, yes. Yeah. We were dunking down in South Jersey in high school. I can still do it. It just hurts more, Chris. <laughs> you can still do it. It's impressive. Wood, right hook, and it's good for Julian Wooden. And Duke up by 30 with 6.38 to go in the second. I don't think there's enough you can say about how impressive this, this Duke Blue Devil performance is. I had them against Virginia late in the season. It was March 2nd, and that was about as good as they looked. But Virginia wasn't that good. Mitchell closed by the defense, but had a shot blocked at the rim by Friedel. Goes out of bounds. Last touch, though, by Wood. It'll be Duke ball. And to finish the point, John Shire early in the season said we really need to find continuity. And continuity is not just guys playing together for a certain amount of time. It's starting to feel each other's you know, tendencies and personalities and, and dynamics. They've really started to find that. I think that's why you're seeing this team mature and develop at the right time, which is late this season. Inbound, they get it, and a, a steal. As Ryan Young turned it over, Friedel with a steal. Friedel, the senior, still playing hard inside with a reverse. It was blocked and controlled by T.J. Power for Duke. As Roach slowly brings it to the front court for the Blue Devils. Six minutes to go in the second. Duke 81, JMU 51. Roach, a blow by, and a lob at the rim, and a dunk for Sean Stewart. An exclamation point for the Blue Devils with 5.47 to go in the half. Duke 83, JMU 51. Now Brown, kick to the corner. Three won't go from Horton. Weak side rebound of foul against Duke. Well, whether you're looking for style inspiration or on trend pieces, turn any space into your happy place with Ashley. Shop Ashley's anniversary sale in store online today. That last play, brilliant design. You bring you bring the big and Ryan Young up to set the screen and keep Stewart available for the lob. Just smart design by Shire. Wooden left the lane, turn around, fade away, no good. Rebound though by Pickerstaff and then a goal 10 as Sean Stewart using some of that 36 inch vertical, not all of it, some of it to block that one, but he gets called for a goal 10. You know, if, if, there are times where you say, hey, call for a ball screen and Stewart just runs up. No, 
That is calculated. You bring Ryan Young, who's good at disguising and setting the ball screen. You keep Stewart in the short corner area where his man has to help up, and then it's an easy lob. These are things you, you can you figure out. You develop one throughout the course of the year to the point where you do it instinctually on the floor. Duke in the front court. Jeremy Roach gets a high screen, goes around it from Young. Young rolls. Roach goes left. Kick it to the corner. Power, a three. Short, no good. Mitchell, weak side rebound. Backs it out and a reset for Duke. As Roach controls. Roach wants a clear out. One-on-one -on -one with Xavier Brown up top. Brown creeps out on him. Gets a hand on his hip. Now Young comes up to set a screen. Roach goes left. Runs into Bickerstaff. Pulls up. Floats one up. And it's good for Jeremy Roach. And Duke with an 85-53 lead. Four and a half to go in the second. Terrence Edwards out of the right wing for the Dukes. Takes it left down the lane. Jump pass to the corner. Working a three. No good off that rim. Ball deflects off the backboard. Bickerstaff with a rebound. Put it up. That rim out. Mitchell with a rebound for Duke. And now Roach will slowly bring it up the floor. When you think about JMU yesterday against, or two, excuse me, Friday against Wisconsin, Wisconsin just didn't have the length and explosiveness to contest everything around the rim. Duke has been all over the floor defensively, contesting every shot. And that's why they're up by 32. Mitchell to the corner to Power for three. It's going! TJ Power! The freshman gives Duke an 88-53 lead. Three quarter to go in the game. Edwards, left of the lane, under the basket, tough angle, pass out top, controlled and told, stolen away by Mitchell. Duke in transition, the hop for Stewart in a right hand jam. Sean Stewart! Head high with the rim and slammed it down, and Duke with a 90-53 lead with 3.32 to go in the second. Breaking the action, you're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Dude Wipes presents Bathe Your Bum. <clears throat> While TP may appear to clear your rear, it actually leaves behind dry Philly gifts clinging inside your rump's rounded rift. There's no bigger bummer than a bee crack to whack. You need extra large wet strength for an effective attack. To fully wash stains, stinkies, crispies, and crumbs, it's time to ditch the dry paper and bathe your bum bum. Your dump dent deserves it so plump and so round. Use wet, flushable dude wipes for the best clean pants down. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Protect your engine with Shell Rotella motor oil at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Shell Rotella provides triple action to help control wear, deposits, and emissions, and adapts to your driving conditions. Right now, save $5 on all one-gallon Shell Rotella products. Limit supply. See your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store or O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants to polos and khakis to Oxfords or T-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. With Marriott Bonvoy, take your game day rituals on the road. No matter how you show your team spirit, you can find a stay for your style with over 30 hotel brands and thousands of global destinations. Marriott Bonvoy has a brand for every kind of fan. Marriott Bonvoy, official hotel partner of the NCAA. Discover more at MarriottBonvoy.com slash NCAA. Tonight's broadcast of the second round of the 2024 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network is intended solely for the private non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA and Westwood One is strictly prohibited. Duke a 90-53 lead over James Madison, 3.32 to go in the second half. Sean Stewart got us to break with that emphatic dunk moments ago. His dad, Mike, was known as Yogi Stewart, played at Cal, played eight seasons in the NBA. His grandfather, Mike Stewart, played at Santa Clara, former West Coast Conference Player of the Year. And, you know, Sean Stewart, 
grew up on the same street as Grant Hill, who is sitting just off to our left. Another Duke all-timer. Look at you and your nuggets. Emptying out all the nuggets. You are. In a 40-point game. <laughs> 37. Right wing three, no good. Rebounded, though, by Horton of JMU, and then taken away by the aforementioned Sean Stewart. And into the game right now, you hear a roar for Spencer Hubbard, a 5'8 senior out of Los Angeles. Gives it up top now to Stewart. Had it poked loose and stolen away. JMU on the move. Wooden ahead to Edwards. Made Hubbard fall down, a collision and a foul on Spencer Hubbard, who gets himself in the stat sheet. Hubbard kind of pre-pulled the chair on that one. It's like he got in position and there was no contact. He just took a dive. He wears number 55. Which we go is a with big double nickel for a small guy. Double nickels. We like double nickels. The double nickel. Double gotcha. nickels. It's a big number for a small guy. Though. Yeah, it is. Middle linebacker. Neil Bogovich going to come into the game as well for Duke. Who's got perfect hair, as you would expect from a Duke Blue Devil. Free throw on the way from Edwards off back rim, no good. With 2:53 to go, before Duke is heading on to the Sweet 16 is. Raekwon Horton comes out of the game for JMU. Free throw by Edwards. Ringed out. No good. Stewart with a rebound. So you would have thought JMU would have had to make threes to win this game. Well, 4 of 15 for JMU. 14 of 27 for Duke. That's a plus 30 point advantage. Power going down the lane. Left the layup on the front of the rim. No good. But Govich going after it. It deflects off the table right in front of us. Out of bounds. It'll be JMU. You ball. Can we just think about that. That's a 30 point advantage from behind the arc for Duke. <laughs> Hard to overcome. It is a 37 point advantage on the scoreboard right now with Duke on top 90 to 53. Two and a half to go in the second. Whip it inside. Edwards finding Wooden. Wooden turns, leaves one up, and rattles it in. <laughs> Duke now into the front court. Hubbard looks over to John Shire, still coaching the bench players that are on the floor. As Ryan Young handles top of the arc, is right to Power. Power cut off by Friedel. Power circling left, back to uh, Young inside, and Bogovich had a shot blocked by Edwards and taken away by JMU. Edwards into the front court of the right wing with a minute 52 to go, 90 to 55. Duke. Diving to the floor, Power knocked it away from Edwards in a tie-up between Edwards and Power. Well, stay with us for the Bosch Knight Performance Wiper Blades Tournament Postgame Report. We'll check the final stats. You'll hear from the member of the winning team, which we assume is going to be Duke. Night vision has evolved. Bosch Knight Performance Wiper Blades reduce blur and glare to help you drive on stormy nights. Find them in auto retailers near you. Ryan King moves it left. Power shoots a three. Sailed it long. Young with a rebound and he scores. Ryan Young with a putback. A captain, a senior, a Stewartsville, New Jersey. Started his career at Northwestern, his third year, with, uh, second year with Duke. Here's Friedel in the lane. Jump stop. And a floater off rim. No good. Power with a rebound for Duke. And a minute 16 to go in Brooklyn. Duke 92, JMU 55. You know, this Duke team has really good, powerful pieces, and then they have really good complementary pieces. And I think Ryan Young's one of those guys. Hubbard's got it left wing. The crowd wanted him to shoot it. Instead, he goes down low. Back to Hubbard. Thought about a three. Edwards there, so he didn't want to get it blocked. He <laughs> backs it out. Shoot. Hubbard at 5'8", working right in the lane, going to the rim, flipped it off the window, and it popped out. No good. Here comes JMU the other way. Edwards, right wing three. Sailed it long. Rebounded by Stewart Purdue with 46 seconds to go. 92-55 Blue Devils. Stewart on the drive. Cut off by Carey. Not loose by Carey. On the ground, backs it out. They hand it to Hubbard. He sets a screen and then backs it out. Down to 10 to shoot. Here's Hubbard right wing. Crossover. Wooden on him. Went to step back. Wooden reached in wow. and committed a foul. With three on the shot clock. Wooden was not as thrilled about what's going on as the Duke faithful was. Yeah. Well, here's the deal, though. When it comes to the NCAA tournament, if you can get Hubbard, a guy that's giving you every bit that he's got in the tank every single day as a scout team guy, 
as a guy that helps get you prepared, motivates you in every possible way, if you can get him a bucket in the NCAA tournament, that's special. And the free throw is no, no good off the back of the rim. He scored six points this season in nine games played. This is the NCAA tournament. Come on now. I, like, I don't want to say I'm rooting for him, but I'm rooting for him. <laughs> <laughs> Holman Smith comes in, Friedel and Edwards go to the bench. Friedel, the senior, finishing with eight points in his final game. Hubbard's free throw is good. Spencer Hubbard, the 5'8 senior, knocks down a free throw as Duke celebrating for the 93-55 lead. Final second, Smith up top for JMU out of the right wing. A three... Sail long by Wooden goes out of bounds and let the celebration begin in Durham. And the preparation begin. This seems to be a team on a mission. Duke will inbound it here in Brooklyn. 7.4 seconds to go. I'd say it's a purposeful performance, a mature performance from Duke. They got a fight in the first round from Vermont and then wore him down late. The 5'8 Spencer Hubbard will bring it in the front court. As the second stick away, Duke on to the Sweet 16 for the 29th time in their program history. A dominant performance in Brooklyn. The Blue Devils roll 93 to 55 over the JMU Dukes. It's easy to look at what, you know, McCain did in terms of his performance as shooting 10 to 15 from the field, 8 11 from three. But it was a lot of the intangible things that impressed me the most about the Duke Blue Devil performance. Their fight, their toughness, their ability to just sustain the physicality, which was a very hacky, handsy, physical type of contest. It's an adjustment you have to make. What I saw was a very mature Duke Blue Devil team. That's saying something, given their youth and the fact that the leading scorer is one of the freshmen on the on the team. Well, Jared McCain, the freshman, had 30, set a Duke NCAA tournament record with eight made threes, two points shy of Zion Williamson's uh, Duke freshman record for an NCAA.